excited to feed the ostriches? Yeah. Are you nervous? No. Sabella, are you excited to feed the ostriches? Yeah. yeah. Are you nervous? Soda, because they can eat your fingers of candy. And are you excited to feed the ostriches? Yes. Are you nervous? No. Okay. It looks like butter. Yes. Yeah. And I'm by the window. There's no window. Well, I'm by the open space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People in front of us and behind us. Yeah. So, see when we actually start moving. Yeah. The ostrich roaming free in front of us. The quality of the meat is a bit poor as well. The meat is a bit tougher. We keep them on the farm just to show you the difference between the Zimbabwean bird and the South African bird. Alright, so these are Zimbabwean birds. They will be coming close to you, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, do not panic if it's happen that they come close to you. What you need to do is to open the bucket of food and give them food. Okay. All right, but you must hold the bucket tightly, otherwise they will take the bucket to them. You hold the bucket tightly, then you give them food. You can also yeah. touch them as well. They don't bite, but they don't have fear. All right, they only swallow each and anything that they eat. Hold tight. Zimbabwean's bird, the tallest bird. The Zimbabwean's bird can grow up to 2.4 meters tall and plus minus 160 kilograms. The quality of the feathers looks totally beautiful and we can still use them for the skin as well. Uh, so these are Zimbabwean's bird. about the lion and the cheetah. Those are the main enemies for the adults. Because the monkeys and baboons in the wild are the predators for the eggs and the chicks. Okay. So the adults are talking about the lions and the cheetah. We're going to see most of the newborn babies that we got on the farm. The babies that we're going to see now, they're still at the age of one week old. Alright, the baby. You want to feed it? I will be the baby. We're talking about one week old. When they are born, they're just about 750 grams. And before the age of two months, they all got the same colors of the feathers. They will start changing the color of the We're talking about the lion and the cheetah. 
Those are the main enemies for the adults. The monkeys and baboons in the wild they have the predators for the eggs and the chicks. For the adults, we're talking about the lions and the cheetahs. Now we're going to see most of the newborn babies that we got on the farm. The babies that we're going to see now, they're still at the age of one week old. Right, the the baby. You want to feed him? Talking about one week old. <laughs> when they are born, they're just about 750 yeah. grams. And before the age of two months, they all get the same colors of the feathers. They will start changing the color of You got them? No. When, uh, when we got the chicks, we only look at in the camp. If you, find that, if you find that those first parents have some two or two chicks, similar to the babies born from the machine, you can mix them all together. Alright, we can give them another chick, they will take care of them. Yeah, they don't, they don't mind about that. Yeah, they don't mind about that, they will take care of them. Alright, these babies are still at the age of five days old. In the normal life, in the wild, there is always one male with two or three females. So when we put them in the camps, we must put more females than men. As you can see in these camps, there are two females, only one man. I Oh, really? Not just the feet, babe. Hey, it's gonna pinch my hand. Triple Dawn, it's okay. See, it's okay. Yes, you're doing it. Dylan, you're doing it. It's an iceberg. Good chicken. <laughs> it's an iceberg. Okay, let's do it. Let it finish. Okay, let it finish. Let it finish. Let it finish. Okay, it's not interested. Oh, you did it! The natural color has been dyed. It goes under the process between two to three months before we get it into this. So this is the natural, right? No, that's no. It. That's, 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 we'll this is not the natural color. It's been dyed. No. It's a natural oh, that's color. The natural color. color. Not this one. No. This one ah, the white this one. one. Yeah, this is the natural ah. color. So it, it dyes well, I see, with all mm. those colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can mm. get it on all those colors. Okay, so that's good. You can use it to make some handbags, the leather jacket, the shoes, the bag. It's a very strong leather. On the market, this is the second strongest leather on the market. What's the strongest? After the crocodile skin. Crocodile. On the market, we're talking about the ocean skin. Right. <laughs> I think we have to go in there. Wow. Can you go in? Oh, wow. <gasps> Guys, this is epic. They're hatching.
We've got two incubators machines here. We put the machine here just to show you how that it works. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we said on the tractor that the business of the farm, it is only to raise the bird. We're not allowed to kill the bird on the farm and sell the meat directly to the public. We only raise the bird, and from the age of 12 to 14 months, already adult, then we can start selling the bird to the cooperatives. In the cooperatives, we'll be dealing with the government abattoir. They will process the meat, the skin, and the feathers. So in order to succeed with this business, ladies and gentlemen, we must use the incubator machines. This is the only way that we can have enough consumers to take on the market. On our target, on our farm, we have a target to sell a minimum of 1,000 birds each and every year. We must sell a minimum of 1,000 birds. Sometimes we go up to 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, but we cannot go lower than 1,000 birds. Survive. Like, I mean, to sell. Yeah. I mean, to, uh, to, to make more profit. Yeah. All right? So, in order to get those thousand birds, we, we must definitely use the incubator machines. All right? So if you only incubate the eggs naturally outside, you're not going to make the type of thing. You can take anything with the family, the insects, and okay. uh, the better, the smaller, the little grass as well. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen, before we can end the tour? We must leave the house to another group outside. Oh, these are all lots of things. Any questions, sir? Perfect. All right. Okay. Any questions, sir? No. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, so guys, unfortunately, we cannot keep you for all day. You know that you guys live in This will be the end of the tour. What was your thoughts on the ostrich? Were you scared? Kind of, yeah. You were like but screaming. They were so cute. So why are we like, <laughs> they look like monsters. They're cute. Did you? Firstly, the baby. What was your favorite part? Beaten. The one you, part you were scared of? Huh? The part you were scared of? Yeah. What was your what what did you enjoy the thing? Yes, but they still look like monstrous birds and they probably gonna kill me so um yeah. So what was your favorite part? Seeing the babies. Chloe, did you enjoy the tour? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? Seeing the ostriches. Okay. Bye.